I'm getting ready to show you the most amazing, the cutest, most adorable, classic Disney-inspired crochet and knitting amigurumi projects, and I have a feeling that your list of toys that you want to make is about to grow exponentially. Hi there, I'm Elise from the blog LePetitSaintCrochet.com and you're going to find links for all of the patterns that I'm talking about in the description box below. And if you would like to save all of this information for later, make sure to click the link to the blog post, scroll all the way down to the bottom and you will actually see a Pinterest pin. Click on it and it will take you straight to your Pinterest board and you can pin it and you can come back to it for later. The Walt Disney Company was founded in 1923, almost a hundred years years ago, and I think Disney is more popular now than it has ever been. I know that for me, I have so many fond memories of watching the movies when I was a kid and going to Disney World with my family, and I got to experience all those things with my own children as well. So I'm really excited to be sharing these patterns with you today, and there are so many, and they are so wonderful. So don't blame me when your list gets longer and longer and longer. It's those darn Amigurumi designers who are so talented and amazing. And trust me, you're going to want to see all of these. I am as excited about this episode as I have probably been about any of the episodes because I love Disney. But number two, I'm blown away by these talented designers. And make sure, even if you're just a crocheter, make sure to stay and watch those knitting ones. And if you're a knitter, watch the crocheted ones too. But I want to hear from you. In the comment section below, let me know who your favorite Disney character is. And then let me know if that favorite favorite character was featured in today's video. I'm starting today's video with the crocheted patterns and that's because I just made this little dwarf and it's from the pattern Little Dwarfs by Aquari Wool. How adorable is this little dwarf from the iconic movie Snow White? The pattern actually includes variations for all seven of the different dwarfs from the wonderful Snow White movie and I decided to choose Grumpy because I think he's really funny and I love his little face and sometimes I feel like that if I was one of the seven dwarfs I might be grumpy but right now because we're getting into early spring here in North Carolina I would probably be sneezy because whoo the allergies are starting to hit me but I loved this pattern so much and Aquari Wool is one of the most popular crocheted amigurumi designers out there and there is a reason for it and I'm going to show you some of her other Disney inspired crochet patterns as well but this little guy is so cute He's so tiny and he has so much detail, which I really love. And what's really fun is that by changing the beard and the facial expressions and some of the colors and adding ears and the little hat, you can create all seven different dwarfs. And I think that that is just so much fun. So if you wanted to crochet them all or just your favorite, you can choose that. Another Disney, hi Pickle. Another Disney inspired amigurumi pattern from Aquari Wool is her Pinocchio design. I loved the Pinocchio movie when I was a kid. And what I love about this design is that he has jointed arms and legs so they bend like the little puppet that Pinocchio was. He wasn't a puppet. What, what is Pinocchio? I can't even think. He's not a puppet. Yeah, you know how they have the little strings. I can't think of what that is. I. I'll have to look at that, but whatever Pinocchio was, I love that he's got the little joints to move his arms and his legs, and I love the colors. I love that it is classic Disney here, and he looks fantastic. The next design from Aquari Wool is her black witch pattern, which reminds me of Maleficent from the Sleeping Beauty movie. I loved that movie so much when I was a kid. And what I love about this pattern is that it's a little bit spooky without being scary. So I think this would be a great one for any Sleeping Beauty fans in your life. Mm -hmm. 
Pickle loves to be held like a baby <laughs> and in our arms all the time. But the next pattern is Princess Belle from Jossa Handmade Store. And what I love about this pattern is that it looks exactly like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And this was one of my daughter's favorite movies of all time. They loved Belle so much because they loved that she loved to read and all of the talking furniture from the movie. It was just wonderful and delightful. We actually named our first dog Belle after Princess Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And I think this one is so sweet. And if you have a Beauty and the Beast fan in your life, this would be the perfect toy for them. Next is Fairy Tale Princesses Fun Size. And I love this collection of patterns. And you get four different Disney princesses. And you've got Snow White. And you've got Ariel. And you've got Cinderella. And they would be so much fun to crochet. I love that the designer is calling these fun size. And they're small. And they probably work up pretty quickly and I think they are so adorable. The next collection is from the same Amigurumi designer and it is the Evil Queens collection and I love this one so much. And what is it about the bad ladies of Disney movies that are so much fun? I have a little story to tell. So when my oldest daughter was about four years old, she really loved the 101 Dalmatians movie and she became really enamored with Cruella DeVille. And at the time I was a little concerned because I thought, why does my sweet little girl love Cruella DeVille so much? And now I look back and realize my daughter is such a loving person. She is an animal lover. She has two little kitty cats of her own and she loves dogs. But it was just funny because I think what attracted my daughter to Cruella DeVille was that she was bossy and she could tell people what to do. And I think that my daughter really loved that. She's a very powerful young woman in her own world. She's working on getting her PhD and she teaches college students and she is amazing. So now I can look back and see why she really liked Cruella DeVille because she was an assertive lady and got stuff done. So this one is such a fun pattern with all of the Disney evil queens. The next collection of patterns is by the same designer and I haven't said her name because I don't want to butcher it. Obviously you will find links for all of these patterns in the description box below. But this is a collection of Alice in Wonderland patterns and I was so impressed by these. They're so detailed. I love pattern collections because they contain so much in one volume all together and I think it's a great resource. This one comes with Alice, the Queen of Hearts, the Mad Hatter, and the White Rabbit. And when you really look at each one of these characters, there is so much detail that has gone into every single one. I really love this one. I loved Alice in Wonderland when I was a kid. It's super weird. It's super strange and I think that's why I really enjoyed it. But if you love that genre and if you love the old one or the new Alice in Wonderland, this would be a great project. The next pattern is from one of my absolute favorite Amigurumi designers and that is Tinkerbell by Green Frog Crochet. If you saw my recent Amigurumi doll video, you will know that I am a huge fan of Green Frog Crochet and you're going to find a lot of wonderful patterns from her. So I'm not going to highlight every single one of her Disney inspired patterns, but make sure to go check them out. So this one is the Tinkerbell and I think that she is so darn cute. I love Tinkerbell. I have always loved Tinkerbell and I've always identified with her because she was small and I am a very, very short person in real life. And she also has a little bit of a temper, which you probably don't get that from me through the videos, but I do have a bit of a temper and um, I can get upset about things kind of easily. And so I really identify with Tinkerbell. So I think this one is so adorable, but make sure to check out all of the Green Frog Crochet Disney inspired patterns because she has quite a few of them. Okay, I lied. I'm going to share one more of the Green Frog Crochet patterns and it is the Little Mermaid pattern. I love this one so much. And one of the reasons why this this one is so special to me is that my little girls loved The Little Mermaid. They were obsessed with everything Ariel and Under the Sea. They loved it so, so much. But anyway, I love this pattern and it just brings back so many great memories for me of my kids when they were little. The next pattern is by Ami Garumi Stuffed Toys and it is a Cinderella inspired pattern. This one looks like the original Cinderella from the movie from the, I don't even know. 
know when Cinderella, when it came out, but it's been around a really long time. And what I love about this one in particular is that it's two patterns and you get Cinderella as the maid before she becomes Cinderella the princess. And Cinderella happens to be one of my all time favorite Disney movies. I loved it so much and I'll give you a little hint. It wasn't because of Cinderella the princess. It's because I loved those mice so much and make sure to stay tuned because I have something really special to share with you. A pattern that if you like Cinderella mice, I really think you're going to like these as well. But anyway, this pattern is so great and I love that it includes both versions of Cinderella. The next pattern is by Little Bo Mouse and it is a Mary Poppins Amigurumi doll and I am in love with this one. It is so beautiful and I love all of the facial details with the eyes and then she has a beautiful little mouth and also all of the accessories that come with this pattern with the carpet bag and her hat and it just looks like she stepped right out of the original Mary Poppins movie with Julie Andrews. I love that movie so much. It is such an inspiring, beautiful movie and I know you all probably love it too and can probably start singing all the songs. It's just a magical experience. So if you are a Mary Poppins fan, I really think that you will like this pattern and make sure to check out her other patterns because they are really beautiful. Very unique patterns. Now we are going to talk about all of the knitting patterns and the first is the only official Disney resource that we're going to talk about and that is Knitting with Disney by Tannis Gray. This is actually a book that has tons of different knitting patterns and in this book you're going to find toys, home decor, costumes, and apparel that are all inspired by Disney and I just love this book. I have her Star Wars Knitting the Galaxy book and these are actually collections of different designers all coming together with one theme. So I imagine that this Disney book is amazing and my favorite pattern from this book is Jacques and Gus from Cinderella and they were the two little mice that love to help Cinderella and they are my favorite characters of all time when it comes to Disney movies. They are just so cute and I just want to take little Gus and I just want to squeeze him and give him a big kiss. He's so cute. If you're looking for an official Disney knitting book, this would be the one for you. The next Disney inspired knitting resource is the Cinderella Pantomise by Alan Dart. What's really interesting about this is that a couple of weeks ago, there were a few of you who recommended a YouTube video and it's on Fruity Knitting, which is a wonderful knitting podcast and I'm sure you all know about it already. And in that episode, she interviewed Alan Dart. Alan Dart is probably the most prolific knitted toy designers out there. To say that he is talented is just not adequate. I began looking at Alan Dart's patterns and I had really seen them before, but I really wanted to know more after watching the Fruity Knitting episode. And I was so inspired by this man who his mind is just so creative. He designs the most beautiful, intricate patterns for knitted toys that I have ever seen. I am absolutely in love with this Cinderella pantomise, but he has so many other ones. And I mean, he has so many. You just have to go to his website and look through. And in the interview, you really get to know this man who is just so sweet. I just am so impressed with him. And before every showcase episode like this, where I am sharing pictures and photos of patterns from other designers, I always reach out to them first to ask permission. I don't want to just take their images and not ask them for permission first. And so I emailed him and I thought, oh, he probably gets so much email and he probably won't ever see it. But he literally emailed me the next day and was so gracious and kind and warm. And I was just so impressed. Wow, what a genuine person. And I want you to just check out all of his patterns. I can't get over all of the detail in the Cinderella pantomise, but that goes for every every single one of his patterns. There's so much shaping and so much detail. And these are characters that literally look like they just 
they could talk to you, that they are alive and they're just so beautiful. So um, if you haven't watched that episode on fruity knitting, I highly recommend it. I will leave a link for it in the description box below. And thank you to those of you who recommended it to me because it really was wonderful. The next pattern is Cinderella and Friends by Esther Joy Knits. And I can see now looking back that I have chosen a lot of Cinderella patterns and that's because I love them so very much. And this one is just so cute. It's another collection with four different characters. You get the fairy godmother, you get Cinderella as the little scullery maid, and then you get Cinderella as the princess, and then you also get the prince. And I think this one is so cute. I love the style of Esther Joy Knits toys. They're so adorable, and I think these would be really fun to knit. The next knitted toy pattern is by Margaret Knits Toys, and it is her mouse twins. I'm sure that you recognize this adorable pair, and I love this knitted version. I have found a lot of crocheted ones, but I haven't seen any that were knit. And I love that this is classic. This is old school Disney, and I think these are fantastic. Last, but certainly not least, are the Peter Pan finger puppets. You can find this pattern on the Handmade Awards Etsy shop, and I am blown away by this pattern. I mean, look at the detail of these little finger puppets. Number one, I think finger puppets are so much fun. But the level of detail that is in each one of these characters absolutely blows me away. There are six characters included in this pattern and they are the crocodile, there's Wendy obviously, there's Peter Pan, there's Tinkerbell, there's Captain Hook, and there's a pirate. I literally cannot get over the level of detail that is in each one of these little characters. They are absolutely amazing. Make sure to check out all of of this designer's patterns because they are absolutely incredible. She is a prolific knitted toy designer and her designs are absolutely amazing. She has lots of different finger puppets. She's got lots of different dolls and they are so whimsical and magical. I just love them so much. I, I'm just blown away by them and I think they're so amazing. I, I could go on and on. But anyway, make sure to check out this Etsy shop. She's also on Ravelry as well and has her own website and you're going to find links for everywhere that you can find these patterns in the description box below. I told you I was going to be sharing some of the most amazing Disney inspired patterns that you have ever seen before and I am just, I feel so inspired right now. I feel full of magic after looking at all those beautiful designs and I, I know I apologize for sharing them with you but I'm sorry but I'm not sorry because I wanted you to see them all and can we just talk a minute about the creativity that people have when they are able to design these gorgeous dolls and creatures and witches and princesses. I am just over the moon about them and I guess I just can't believe sometimes how amazing people are and all of these things that they can create and come up in their mind and then write them out on paper for those of us who want to knit or crochet them. I am just blown away by the talent. It makes me feel very inspired and excited about life. So I hope that you enjoyed all of these patterns as much as I did. In the comment section below, please let me know which one was your favorite. And did you find your favorite Disney character in crochet or knitted form? I would love to know. Also make sure if you want to save this resource to pin the Pinterest pin, <laughs> that sounds funny. Okay, go into the blog post, scroll all the way down, and you will find the pin for Pinterest. If you click on it, you can pin the pin to Pinterest. Hope that makes sense. But you'll find it there. And as always, please like this video. Share it with anybody that is a Disney fan as well. And I hope you stay safe out there. Happy stitching.